So I did get two of them. Hi guys, so I, let's just get started. So this is a Carl bag that I'm absolutely in love with. It's kind of like this dark wash denim and with the gold on it, I don't know, it just really reminds me of the Chanel denim flaps, but it's just so much more special. I didn't think I would ever be interested in a Carl bag truly unless it was the micro Carl bags, but this one I'm utterly obsessed with. I just, oh my gosh, I think it's so freaking cute. The price point of this bag, I believe, is around $3,800. No, actually, I believe it's a little bit cheaper because it is denim. But yeah, so the, the inside is just lined with denim. It's just so nice. And then they also had these like micro little saddle bags as well. And then this is what I came for. I came to see the Mitza scarves, the larger ones. Do you guys see the watercolor prints on this? And this pink one right over here is actually an extremely large one. I believe this one's like over $400 for sure. But the detailing on this is just absolutely stunning. You see the butterflies, just the shading of the colors. Ugh, I just, I can't get enough of it. It's so beautiful. And then you see on the wall just a bunch of micro bags and this color cloud blue is my absolute favorite micro bag that i've ever seen it's like this slate blue gray color even my essay says that this is his favorite shade of blue that they have as well i told him if they are able to make this bag in a my abc size honestly i would buy it i would be i'm saving up right now for the potential of it happening but i just love this i personally can't justify micro bag prices but oh my gosh it's so cute just look how cute it is and then they also had this color available in the micro 30 montane bag as well i'm personally not a huge fan of the 30 montane but in the micro size i do think it's pretty cute but the regular size it's just not my it's not my aesthetic but yes here we have them just side by side you can just see the kind of the slight color difference even though they are both cloud blue just in terms of the actual bag and like the texture of the bag you can see how the montane bag actually looks slightly more gray but they are the same shade which is cloud blue and here we have a couple grained calf skin saddle bags i actually really enjoy the shade of blue it's very unique it's not like your typical dior navy blue color would totally buy that and then here we also have the tundra green saddle bag that a lot of you guys have been messaging me about so i had to try it on to me it reminds me of like a very warm true jade color which i really really enjoy i think it's super wearable and super cute and I just wish they had this in the grain calf skin. So here you can see the texture difference between the goat skin of the tundra green and my warm taupe grain calf skin. But it's really, really cute. I love it. And here we have the brand new steel gray Lady Dior bag. I believe this is part of the Dior Alps collection. It has the shiny ruthenium hardware, which I think is super cool. Like. I personally wouldn't buy it just because I'm not that cool girl aesthetic, but I love this. I think it's super cute and you can kind of see the size difference between this ABC size versus the micro Lady Dior bag. So it is quite different in size, but uh, I think it's gorgeous. This Carl bag is also part of the Dior Alps collection, so it also does have the shiny ruthenium hardware. But as you can see here with the quilting, it actually has this macro canache quilting. So it's very puffy, very similar to kind of the YSL puffer bag mixed with the Chanel 19, which I totally actually love. I think this is super cute and especially that this is part of the Dior Alps collection. It has that very like snow bunny girl vibe vibes but it also very edgy with the ruthenium hardware so it's basically to me if like the chanel boy bag with that kind of edgy ruthenium mixed with the chanel 19 got together this would be the bag i actually really really like this i hope they come out with more colors with this macro canache print because this is super super cute what do you guys think do you guys hate it i love it and then here we just have a picture of the gray bobby bag i feel like the shade of gray has been very popular during this past just season in general we also have some exotic card holders which i think is 
gorgeous. I love the detailing of the metallic kind of outlining on the texture of these, especially that green one. Oh my goodness. And then here we have a couple more exotic card holders just in more kind of burgundy and red colors. And adding on to the burgundy vibes because of fall, this five gusset card holder in the burgundy red color I think is gorgeous. This would be a great fall slash honestly even a Christmas present gift for somebody. And then lastly, here we have a mini Lady Dior in the Tundra Green. I personally am not a fan of the hardware having that gold outlining with the color of the bag. I don't know, I just don't think it looks as clean. But here is a size comparison between the Micro Lady Dior bag and the Mini Lady Dior bag. You can see when the Micro is next to the Mini, the Mini looks huge. But this is actually a Mini Lady Dior bag. Hi guys, so as you can see, my fake tan has completely faded away. I am back to my pale self. I haven't decided if I'm gonna fake tan again before summer is officially over, but that is neither here nor there. So I did pick up a little something. I mean, I've mentioned this on my, I believe on my Instagram, on my luxury account, and I've mentioned this in the other videos. So I did pick up two things. One of the things where it's actually on hold for a while. Okay, let's just get into it. So. If you guys want to see this guys they finally restocked on the silk little ribbon i know that's super small and super stupid but yeah i just the thin dior ribbon i don't know why it's just my favorite i think it looks so freaking cute hold on so i bought this I think three, three, four days ago. I've just been lagging it because my room's been messy, my life's been messy, so yeah. But they finally brought back the sticker. So when my essay gave this to me, I was like, oh my gosh, there's a little Dior sticker on it. And he said that they've actually been sold out of the sticker for a couple months now. So, and then they finally restocked. So I was really, really excited. So it just does it like this. Actually, I'm honestly just gonna use a box cutter. Hold on. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this up. Alright, so I did pick up two things. Alrighty, so I did pick up two little things. I think I'm gonna open this one first because we all know what this one is. So. Okay, I'm sorry if you hear the beeping noise. It's my dad is going in and out of the backyard right now. Can you guys guess what this is? And I'm just gonna disclaim right now, I really didn't need to buy this, genuinely I did not, but I really wanted it, so it was purely based on impulsive desire. I mean, not completely impulsive, okay, let me just show you. So I actually did get a Mitza scarf, but let me just give you a close-up. Do you see how gorgeous that watercolor painting is? When this got released, I believe this also got released around the same time as the Dior Amour collection, if not maybe a week after the Dior Amour collection came out, and I just knew I had to get it. So I don't own any like big scarf, so this is my very first big scarf. So they do have this available in three colors. They have this in this blue color, a kind of like peachy nude, and then they have the bigger size, which I actually really did like with the kind of, what is that, like a, a pink violet on the outside but what really stole my heart was just the flower detailing as you guys know the rosa muda Billis collection is my all-time favorite collection that dior has ever come out with and i missed that one so now after that and like still thinking about it to this day i just if i see a collection that i like really 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 like i i just want a piece of it so this is what it looks like do you just see that like even the ribbon that says Christian right here, the shading on that, like this is just stunning. I'll leave a link um, on the Dior website of what this looks like so you guys can zoom in on it, but it's beautiful. Like I just, I had to, I had to get it. So I was initially debating between this and the uh, normal Mitsa scarf. I'll show a picture of it right over here. And I, I definitely didn't need both of them. I just wanted one piece from this collection. So I ended up getting this one just because it's bigger and the Mitsu scarf, even though I feel like it actually could have matched my mini lady Dior bag, I just, I don't know, I feel like I wouldn't have as much use. Whereas this, one reason I got this was to collect, but another reason is because Jisoo, of course, she wore the Dior oblique as a headscarf. And I know that's not a new style. A lot of people have been doing that. And as I am, by finger forehead maggie i really wanted to do it so i have makeup on right now so i don't want to like ruin this but essentially it's that whole i'll just 
post a picture of what Jisoo looks like, that kind of head wrap style, I definitely want to try that out. So essentially, you would be wrapping it like this, right? Like, look how freaking cute that is. Um, yeah, I just think it's gorgeous. Like, look at this little butterfly, too. Right over here. Is that a butterfly? I want to say it's a butterfly. It could be a flower. Do you see that? Oh, just look at that. It's so pretty. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so the price of this is $380, which... When you think about it, one Mitsa scarf is about $250. So let's just say in terms of size-wise, a Mitsa scarf is literally maybe an inch of this down. So technically, this is like what? I even want to say maybe like 12 Mitsa scarves going all the way down. If you really just want to play that card, you know what I mean? In terms of silk, I would say this is a better like cost value. But obviously you can't really put this on a bag is the only other thing. And then this. Okay, so my essay has been holding this for me for over a month for sure. Honestly, just stuff kept coming up and it wasn't because I was thinking about it. I told him to hold it and then every time I told him like, okay, I'm going to come this weekend. I'm going to come this Tuesday or something like that. Either he wasn't there um, and I missed him twice or just things came up i had events to go to not like like events like galas and stuff like that like i would have concerts or it'd be like my friend's birthday or my birthday and stuff like that so that's what happened but i'm gonna show you guys you all know what it is i've talked about this i think twice in previous videos but i'm just gonna show you guys and i'm actually going to change it so it is an slg Ooh, okay like this ah i'm so excited i'm so excited Ready, ready, ready. Dun, 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 dun. So I did get the Dior Amour capsule collection, which is basically the Chinese Valentine's Day collection. Um, what really suckered me in are these two things. So the fact that the Dior charm comes with this little red heart, that really suckered me in. But what really just like sealed the deal was the fact that the canage print is hearts let me show you what i mean if you guys don't know what i'm talking about okay so this is my regular lady dior compact wallet so if you guys can see the difference this is the signature canage print you, you can basically see it's like a circle within a diamond or a square whereas now they added the hearts just for this one i was talking to my dior sa and he was telling me that they rarely ever actually change the canache print on it like of course lady dior's or anything they have patent leathers like different types of textures fabrics adding like sequins and stuff like that but to actually change the stitching of the canache print i just i had to get it honestly i actually like visually i liked the white version of this more because it makes the red heart charm pop but the only reason i picked this well one this is the dumbest reason so i was watching one of heart evangelista's videos and she was actually the one that like got me to get this except she has this exact wallet in red and i just thought it looked so good and at the time they didn't have a red version of this do you see how easily influenced i am like that i just i am the ultimate consumer <laughs> okay I, I love this wallet i use it all all the time um and i actually really like this nudie color that i got but going back to that so when i saw that they had this in red i was like wow i need to get it and then the fact that it's chinese valentine's day hello i'm chinese um so red is our lucky color and then the fact that it's just oh i can't get over the hearts but going back to it so the reason why i didn't get the white one was because since this is lambskin for a fact i know it would get dirty because my mom has the gusset card holder in like the very very light light ivory slash dusty pink color like the super light one and she's had it for about three years now i believe and it's pretty dirty so it's pretty dirty so if it was white it would get even more dirty so that's why i got this one so it does only have two card slits on the back and then a little pouch right here this i honestly think this is a little overpriced genuinely like i love dior but this is a little overpriced i understand it's special limited edition but still dang it hold on so price not in here okay i'm gonna put the price somewhere here um when i find the receipt it's in my drawer somewhere because i put it away with my all my other stuff but this was very expensive this was more expensive than this not as expensive as this obviously but this was pretty expensive for how flat the card holders are because they do have other card holders that i believe are if not cheaper than this is but i think this is more expensive because it's limited edition and it has like the different charms but yeah honestly i still have no regrets on this i i'm really really happy i got this especially 
I know a lot of people like the flat card holders and obviously everyone says in so many videos they're like the things that you need to stop buying are SLGs and I agree to that to a certain extent but personally for me I like SLGs because it lets you get something from a special collection even though people's argument is it's in your wallet you're the only person that gets to see it but that's that's for me like I, I get happy when I see this and it's like for Chanel, they have so many different collections, right? And you can't keep buying a flat bag or any bag for that matter because it's like $4,000 every collection. That's a lot. But even though, let's say $600 for a Chanel card holder, it's like, but you get like a little taste of something. You can get like a rose gold card holder or a blue one or a green one and you don't have to commit fully on spending like four or five grand on a big bag so that's how i justify getting slgs i understand why people say you don't need to buy so many slgs because how many times you're using a wallet but for me slgs are just really fun and they're really cute and they make me really happy so yeah that's my little explanation on that so these are the two little things that i picked up i'm not shopping for a while now i know i said that in my last video it was just because these have been on hold for me for a while and i just well one like i had to get it because he was holding it for me for so long i've been wanting these since they came out it was just a matter of me actually going into the store and buying it myself so yeah so that is it for today's little come shopping with me vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it don't worry i do have just like regular vlogs coming up it's just honestly shopping vlogs and unboxings are just way easier to film and edit compared to luxury commentary and daily vlogs with music and stuff like that it is a little bit more time consuming a lot more time consuming um but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys